Yo, what up, what up, good morning. So, I got up early, 6 a.m. my time, and it is double vault opening event. So, I've played a total of two games, so four vault openings, and I've already gotten 10 tokens. 10 tokens. 10 tokens, that's right, count them, 30 tokens. And now, <laughs> yeah, I'm going to say just to make you guys feel good, Dick Van Arsdale. Yep, that's a great name. Van Arsdale. So needless to say, it's already paid off for me. I'll, I'll be doing this event all three times today. I do still need Bingo Smith. I'm digging the 10 tokens. I just hit 750 so I can get an Opal if they do update the market. There's nothing I really want in there. It's kind of coming down to a decision of Tim Duncan, maybe, as it stands. Although, we'll take a quick peek here. But as I said, the event right here, double vault events. So far, it's been amazing. If I hit nothing else today, I've won. I'll just take a quick look at this kind of detour from the whole point of this. Zach Levine does not have... Uh, uh, I can't even remember the badge at the moment since I just woke up. Unpluckable. So that's kind of a pain in the ass. I did think about Jaw, but I probably would never use him. We do have Josh Smith, which is, he's still an effective player. Bob Pettit against somewhat similar. It's a good thing Grant Hill finally has that update. The only problem with the older cards is they're locked to one position. Which I think pretty much is... I must have all the old ones. Grant Hill is the only one left. And I'm interested... I keep asking people on Twitter about what this Tim Duncan, Tony Parker duo is about. But nobody will reply. So if anyone gets information, give me a shout either on Twitter, which is the same handle as this. Or leave a video below in the comments. Uh... Brad Beal, I don't... People be hating on him, but I don't know. Ultimately, when this game is long dead and done, I'll probably have all of the Opals regardless. I'm leaning towards either Josh Smith or Tim Duncan. I'm just hoping that this gets an update. But I still need five of these. Gosh, I hope this gets an update also. Again, older players, one position. So the only newer ones with the good badges would be D'Angelo, LaMarcus, Kevin Johnson. And that would be it. RIP Wes Unsell. He might be a consideration if it comes down to it. But let's hope that gets an update soon because I want that fireball. But enough jibber-jabber. So this is not a new card at all. It was couple months ago it was in the triple threat online or offline boards I do believe one of the two man they pick the most flattering pictures for people so six five two ten so definitely really short for a small forward kind of short for a shooting guard 40 14. I'll quietly scroll as you look through this. Looking decent. The only problem with a lot of these reward cards is like they're badged out. It's just a third height. And the height is a huge disadvantage, especially this late in the season. Because you're facing monsters.
kind of got to speed this up so I can get back to gaming. So, I mean, he's decent, but he's free and he's an opal. If you guys missed the first round today, make sure you catch the other two rounds. Again, like I said, it is the double vault attempt. And there is no one token. So, I mean, especially if you're under a thousand wins, get to grinding. Get to grinding specifically this for those two hours three times and if it's later on that you watch this two times a day and uh yeah best of luck and if i post another video today it's either going to be a locker codes or a bingo smith we'll catch you all later